Hello everybody! So in today's video I did these eyes using the Adept Inspired palette. So if you're interested in how I came up with this look, this is kind of a try to get ready, get ready with me. I'm trying to talk more through my videos. So uh, if you like this kind of content, grab a snack, do your makeup with me. Either one. We are going to create this look. Guess what I got in the mail? The Adept Inspired Palette. I'm so excited. So in this portion of the video, I'm going to go ahead and play with it and put it on my eyes. I can't wait. This is what it looks like. It's so pretty. So we are definitely going to hit some of those greens up today. Can't wait. All right. So I haven't done anything. I did my eyebrows. Um, I did my skincare routine. We are about to get started and put some makeup on. So if you're into this, stay tuned. So I just used the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Oh, I don't know what colors to go in with. Ooh. All right, so we're gonna go in with this one. This is gonna go over my all over my eyelid. And I think I'm actually just gonna pick up this one down here. So I'm gonna use this middle one, which is called Nelson Ravik. And then I'm gonna use this one as my transition shade, James Holder. I don't know any of these people. I don't watch Green Arrow, so I know that's what the uh, palette is inspired from. All right, so James Holder, I'm going to use this. I'm just going to go all over. No, I'm not. I'm going to put this in my transition shade. Bring it down. Yeah, not bad a very mustardy yellow kind of green. I like it. I'm digging it. So there's no product on here. I'm just going back in and I'm blending out the edges. looks good. I'm just going to go in with a matte shade and I'm just going to blend out the edges to soften the lines up here. So lately I've been going in with just three colors. I use one for my transition. I'll use uh, one of these matte shades just to kind of blend out the edges and then I've been taking like one sparkly or I can't even think of the name. Why can't I think of the name? Multichrome. I've been taking a multichrome and just putting that all over my eyelid and that's how I've been doing my makeup lately. I'm not really too sure when I started doing that. Like a week or two ago. I am going to go in with a glitter primer. I'm going to use uh, Ulta Beauty gl glitter primer. That's what I have. Now I'm just taking a Sigma E20 shader brush and I'm going to go in with, what did I say I was going to do? Nelson Ravik, if that's how you pronounce it, I don't know. That's definitely a multi-chrome. I see green, blue, purple, like a teal color. So I'm going to go in with this one right here. I can't really see the blues. Here, let's try this. This shade right here. See the purple and the blue. It looks green in the mirror. That's what I'm gonna go in with. I guess I'll spray my brush so I don't have any fallout. Ooh, okay. That was a chunk. Oh, my back just cracked. Oh, that was nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, that is pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that shift, but that's pretty. So I'm actually gonna go on with, I'm gonna use the brush that I used earlier, the Inner Corner E46 from Sigma. And I'm actually gonna use this for precision line on the outside. do the same thing to the other side is anybody else ready for spring I am so ready for spring I went shopping a couple of weeks ago over at Target and I picked up a new shirt some comfy cargo pants just like really light and airy which I'm actually wearing today if you want to see these are super comfy you can't even see let me show you they're so comfortable though they're like my new pants, my new, my new outfit. I love it, they're so comfortable. I'm so ready for spring, I'm ready for nice weather. I am so tired of the 30s and 40s and 50s. I need like 70 degree weather all day. That'd be perfect. Okay, so because I have hooded eyes, a lot of the sparkles will transfer up. I don't know if you can see that. I think this looks really good. I have a napkin under here <laughs> to catch any of the fallout. Looks like I got glitter glue on and I just stuck myself to it. That looks really good though. Oh my God, I'm in love with this color. I am so happy I got this palette. But like I was saying, I went uh, shopping a couple of weeks ago, probably like the middle of February. And I bought um, a couple of t-shirts, like tanks like this. I bought um, like three or four crop tops. Um, that like when you stand up, they slightly cover your butt belly, but when you stretch, you can see your belly. Those are like my jam right now. I'm loving those. I knew last year when I was taking out all my winter clothes and putting away my summer clothes, there's a lot of clothes that I just didn't wear and a lot of clothes that were like repetitive, the ones that I continuously wore all the time. So I know this year I have to go, I have three bathing suits. So I don't need bathing suits. I just need um, comfortable clothes to wear around the house, like lounge pants, um, capri shorts, stuff like that. I went shopping with my sister over at TJ Maxx. Was it last weekend? I think it was last weekend. And uh, I picked up a pair of capri leggings. So yeah, I'm slowly but surely building up my summer closet. So kind of excited. I don't know if anyone's noticed. But I am going to throw it out there. I did get Botox done. I had it done right here and then right up in here. So all my wrinkles are gone. I can still move my eyebrows. See? I can still lift. Like an evil face. Mm. I still have that line right here. It doesn't go anywhere, but it's getting harder. I got it done Tuesday. Today would be day, today would be day five. So they say give it 14 days. So, but I can still lift my eyebrows here and I still have a little bit of wrinkles up here, which I don't care. Shh, I haven't told my hobby. <laughs> I guess if you watch it, this video, he'll find out. <laughs> we'll see if he watches it. But yeah, I never told him. I just went and did it. But I do, I really like it. I like, I don't, you don't see my wrinkles as bad. When I make faces, you don't see them as bad. So I've been wearing my hair back a lot lately. It's just how I've been wearing my hair all week. But yes, I think I'm done with the eyes. I like this part. It's pretty. I definitely see the green. I'm not seeing any blue today. Ooh, wait. I don't know if you guys see any blue, but this has been like my go-to look lately. What I've been doing is just doing a transition. Usually I've been going in with like a brown and then whatever color I really feel like it. I've been using my Luxie sparkles just to see how they last all day. So I've been doing like a brown up top. I'll do like the match shadow, up, you know, to blend out the, the brown. And then I've been taking a look -see product and then just putting it all over my eyelid. And I have to say, I think, I mean, I know my face gets oily, but the look -see products have been working just fine. I do the glitter primer, put it on, and it stays all day. 
so I'm not having an issue with the um, the products. There is a spring sale coming up, which just to let you know, I'm thinking about getting it. There's a lot of products in there, or a lot of eyeshadows. I think it's like a total of 15 for like $36. So I actually think I might get that. That'll be in the next video. Next video. Stay tuned. All right, now I'm going to go in with concealer. So I got my sponge. Such a pretty package. This is so pretty. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Look at those colors. I'm going to go on with this one next. That is definitely a multi-chrome. I see red in the camera, but when I look over here at my mirror, I see a green. Oh, yeah. That's going to be dope. And I'm going to go in today using my ColourPop concealer. In the shade 20. What do you think of the shift? <laughs> Can you see the shift or is it just look yeah, green? Like blue or purple? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty because I look in the mirror and I see green. Like, wow. Yeah. Woohoo, chili for dinner. I wonder if anybody else is trying to make plans to do stuff. The oh, weather's breaking. You can start seeing the flowers coming up, the daffodils, my hydrangeas are coming up. I made I made plans with one of my girlfriends to go to a gala for Botox. And I really want to go. I think what I think it is is just a learning event about their um their company and their products and stuff like that. But um they're supposed to be doing giveaways, so I'm like all about it. I'm like, yeah, well my one girlfriend backed out, she didn't want to go, it's too far, which I completely understand, it's fine. So I asked my other girl and she's down to go. So I'm like, yeah, I can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. And then I found one of the girls at work. I wanted to do a, uh, it's like a bingo. You do bingo um, to win like luxury bags and stuff like that. Like it could be a Michael Kors bag, but you have to you know, play bingo. I'm trying to get enough people to go. So that's the end of April. But yeah, that's the end of April. And I really want to go to that. So I've just been trying to make events and things to do. I know with like winter time, I've been like, past couple of weeks have just been like, Love. I want to I want to do more things. I want to be more active. Woo! I joined. Y'all are going to laugh at me, which is fine. I don't care. I'm here for your entertainment. I joined water aerobics last week, this past week. So I finally signed up and uh, got a membership and everything. But I go to classes on Thursday after work. So I come home, I change over, wash my face, pull my hair up, and then out the door I go starts at like 6 10 so it's just enough time for me to come home and uh do what i have to do and then head out it's it's local it's not far i was really excited my uh my mother-in-law and i had been going we went a couple of times and it was a really easy class however i was very 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 sore <laughs> like two days after so classes on thursday i do yoga on fridays and then on saturdays i was wiped man Last week, my booty, <laughs> my booty cheeks hurt, my thighs hurt, my hamstrings hurt, my shoulder blades in the back. Even though it's really mostly water resistant stuff, I've noticed that I'm getting a little bit more energy. I've been looking forward to going. I think it gives me something to look forward to doing every week. Um, besides doing yoga at the house, it gets me out of the house, which makes me feel good which is really important. I just wanted to say that I'm gonna go on with foundation. You know what? I think I'm gonna go on with my ColourPop. What shade is this? Light 45W. That's real watery. I don't know if I wanna use this one. My go-to all-time favorite foundation is the Clinique Even Better uh, Makeup Broad Spectrum SPF 15. This is my go-to. I have shade CN28 Ivory, which is my winter shade, and then I have a darker shade. I'm just gonna use a little bit, see if this would work. 
was watery. I'll blend it out. Oh no, you can't tell. All right, we're going in with this. So funny story, taking my daughter today to our boyfriend's. And uh, we're, we're literally like two blocks from this kid's house. And <laughs> something starts dragging underneath my vehicle. I'm like, what the heck is that? So I pull over thinking maybe I ran something over. I got stuck under my car. You know, because it happens, right? So Kayla <laughs> opens the door and looks down. She goes, Mom, your running board fell off. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me, really? She goes, yeah. So I'm pulled over. I'm like, all right, I get out. I look over and I'm like, put on the four ways. I was like, and open the trunk for me. I got to have a bungee cord so I can <laughs> attach it back so I'm not dragging it as, I, as I'm driving. So I go ahead and I get the bungee cord and I attach it to the inside of the car and I shut the car door. And then I just kind of tie a knot around it. What happened was the inside, the brackets got rusted off. So it just fell off. It's just rusted off. So I need new brackets. Now I need new brackets for my running boards. And I need a new battery. Because every time <laughs> I go to the park, I don't know why, but my stupid car won't start. I think it's because the electronics are on. I don't know. So I asked Mike and he said I need a new battery. Uh, I'm going to have to save up for that. I mean, the car runs, don't get me wrong. It's just, I have issues when I'm sitting in the car. Like if I go to the park for lunch or something and I sit in the car, I guess the electronics are on. So I've been taking my keys out and putting them on the, on the floor while I'm eating. And usually I'll read a book during lunchtime. You know, just get away from work for a little bit. Sometimes my car starts, other times it won't. Last time I wouldn't start, I had to call. I won't call my girl at work and ask her to find somebody to come give me a job. So embarrassing. So my boss ended up coming and giving me a jump. It actually looks really good. Yeah, that looks really good. I'm gonna go ahead and put powder on my face. So I am still loving the um, Too Faced Peach Perfect. When this was on sale, I bought it. I heard that they weren't making it anymore. Oh God, this had to be like last year, a year and a half ago. It's been a while. You know, I don't even know if it's discontinued. I should look into that. You should put that right here, Sarah. I have a backup. I love this powder. I definitely came into the game a little late on this one, but I'm just taking my large F30 brush and I'm just gonna lightly dust this everywhere. Yeah, I don't think this foundation looks bad at all. So another thing that I've been into is reading lately. Last year for Mother's Day, I bought myself a Kindle and I subscribe to the Kindle Unlimited. And I have been reading, I couldn't even tell you how many books I've been reading for the past year. But right now I am reading Sarah Mass. I just finished the book, oh my God, what's it called? The Court of Thorn and Roses. I finished that book yesterday. Throughout the entire book, I'm like, I'm not gonna get the next one, I'm not gonna get the next one, because that book you have to pay for. Um, and I have Kindle Unlimited, Unlimited, which means you can get free books. Um, a lot of times, like when authors come out with uh, books on Amazon, they get paid for like every page you read and stuff like that. And a lot of them, you don't have to pay for it because it's already on Kindle Unlimited. Well, anyway, I'm pretty sure it was called The Court of Thorn and Roses. The whole time I'm like, I'm not going to buy this. I'm not going to buy the next one. This doesn't even sound good. Let me tell you what. The second book is so much better than the first book. Yeah, I bought that shit last night. I literally read the entire first book and I'm halfway through the second one already. I cannot, I'm like dying over here on the second book. I'm like, yes, the first one's good. Don't, don't get me wrong. It has to do with the major ending of the first book. I'm not going to give it away. Just saying, if you're a reader, it's a very slow love burning kind of scene with lots of like murder mystery. It has a lot of twists to it. Um, definitely didn't see that coming. And it's definitely fantasy. Fantasy is in like, like if you like to read about fairies or bay or stuff like that. So my daughter wanted a book. Should I get my news? So I hooked her up on my Kindle through her phone because she uses her phone for everything. So I said, hey, I have Kindle Unlimited on my phone too. Like if I don't have my Kindle, I can use my phone to read. 
I just added her to my account and she was laughing at all the uh, recommendations that were on there. Another good book series. Opal Rain, I think is how you say her last name. It's R-E-Y-N-E. -E. That's a definitely a, a dark series um, fantasy, but I love this woman's writing style. I will see if I can put a picture of her latest book right here. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see if I can or not, but it's the monsters in her book kind of remind me of like a Wendigo. Have you ever seen like what a Wendigo looks like? That's what her monsters kind of remind me of, but love her love her writing style absolutely love her writing style every time i read her book i give her five stars on on kindle unlimited i love that book and then um you just return the book on kindle and then you can download another one so yeah that has been what i've been into originally i wasn't going to do all this i was just going to make a quick video apparently i need to talk more so then we're going to go in with bronzer i want to use my laguna bronzer I really love this brush for blending out bronzers. This is just a BH brush, but it's the the shape of it. Like it's pretty flat here, but it's real fluffy up here. Let's see if you guys can see. So it's pretty flat. It's like perfectly rounded. Like I love this brush to blend out. Oh, I went, I was telling y'all I went with my sister last week and I picked up some clothes. I also picked up some makeup. I had a TJ Maxx mm, down by my sister. I wanted to go to it just to kind of peruse and see what they had. And uh, so TJ Maxx we went to, I found um, the Glamlight Frosted Flakes palette. Picture of it up right next to me. But I found that at TJ Maxx and I think it was like, $16.99. I think I was gonna get it. But the more I thought about it, I'm not a blue person. I don't use a lot of blue eyeshadows. And what I do have here, um, I very rarely use blue, so I didn't pick it up. I do love me some orange though. But I did pick up, and I don't mean old as in like they're just not hip anymore, right? But I have been wanting a bad, and I did not want to pay full price for this freaking palette. But I got a face palette from BH Cosmetics, and I got their um Belgian waffle because I really wanted to try this. So I've already used this um, a couple of times between these two. And I've played with this one. I swatched these two. These are just highlighters. This is a buttermilk. This is a very soft bronzer. Not much I probably won't use unless I like use these two together. And then this one's just a very another strong I know it's on my finger. But there you go. It's call it maple on here but I've been wanting to play with this palette for so long and my TJ Maxx Marshalls they've never had it here but I got it down by where my sister lives I can't tell but I was so excited because I've been searching all over for this and I finally got my hands on it and nobody swatched it in store nobody used it clean I was like yes awesome so NARS came out with their um, rising star cheek palette holiday of 2022 so this past holiday $60 when it came out for $29.99 darker colored blushes probably mix these two because they almost look the same one the one in the middle looks a little bit darker but yeah I really wanted to try this palette out so I picked this one up and we're actually going to use this one today it's March so it's three months old literally three months old and I got it half off but I'm excited. So today I'm actually gonna go in with Limelight. I'm gonna go in with this one right here, Limelight. I think that one's Limelight, right? I hate the stickers on here.
I'm just going to use a, um, another brush just to lightly blend it out. Yeah, but so I don't have any more plans for today. I did my finances this morning. Speaking of finances, anybody else have issues with any of like, like your electric bill or your sewer bill or your trash bill? Like any bill, have you ever noticed that like, let's say, I don't know, I don't, I'm just gonna use my electric bill because I've noticed this with my electric bill. It was first due on the 19th. It's always been the 19th and I've had it in my phone. So it says, you know, electric due today, you know, everything's in red. And then when it gets paid, I put it in green. So it's like, all right, your next bill is this, your next bill is that. What's well, so the last month our electric bill was due on the 14th. Now I know you're thinking that's not a big deal. It's only a couple of days, right? And I'm like, hey, that's a week, that's a whole week. Okay, it's better. So we paid it on the 14th last month. Whole thing paid off, no problem. We get this month's bill for February, and now it's due on the 13th. What is going on? So now you're telling me I have seven bills in one week. Does anybody else have that problem where they start noticing that their due dates start changing? And I'm like, no, 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 no. This is not working for me. You need to change it back. What? Who? I will call tomorrow and take care of that. But does that happen to anybody else? Does anybody else care? Or does it automatically come out and you just don't notice it? Like, I don't know. All right, my face is done. I'm ranting, I'm gonna spray my face. All right, I'm gonna spray my face. Still using the ColourPop No Filter uh, setting spray. I'll tell you what, I love the way this smells. Okay, so this is pretty much my face. I am going to do my eyelashes and I'll do my lips and show you what I did for my lips and I will be right back. All right guys, so this is the finished look. I used Good and Plenty from ColourPop as my lip liner and I used Dose of Color Nude Mood over top and then I went in with the ABH, what is this, Lash Brag Mascara Line and Define from Laura Geller and using this out just for um, a little bit of a definition in my lash line. I didn't bring it down or do a cat eye or anything, just put it in my lash line. And this is my completed look. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Um, hope you got a chuckle, uh, maybe a couple laughs. Let me know down in the comments below. What do you plan on doing this spring? Are you making any plans to try to get out of the house? Anything to improve yourself? Like going to the gym, making commitments uh, to make yourself feel better? Let me know. Put it down in the comments. Down in the comments. I want to see you guys talking, talk to me. Um, and I will respond as soon as I can. Um, and with that being said, make sure you're staying hydrated. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.